Hey, what's up guys? We've seen a lot from Realme lately, both the Realme 1 and Realme 2 within just a few months. But now we have the higher end Realme 2 Pro and it's just arrived, so let's check it out. Open up the box and we have a little package that says Realme. Inside is a clear plastic case and there's also a SIM key. Underneath is the phone itself. Get this plastic off and it's looking pretty shiny. Great. We also have a micro USB cable. No USB-C here. And finally, the 10 watt Oppo charger. So, now that we have the Realme 2 Pro in our hands, let's go over its key features. First up, a shiny design. The Realme 2 Pro features a shiny design made of plastic. I mean, polycarbonate. Realme describes the back design as dewdrop. The colored surface is covered by a clear layer that is shiny and transparent, almost like glass, adding a sense of depth. The screen of the Realme 2 Pro is a tall 6.3 inch LCD with a 1080p resolution, and there's a rounded notch cut out at the top. You can't really hide the notch, but it's okay since it's pretty small. The fingerprint reader is rear mounted and seems decent, fast and accurate. At the bottom is a micro USB port. We'll say it again, we wish everyone would move on to USB-C already. But thankfully, for audio, you won't need a dongle, as there is a headphone jack. Next, a power-efficient chipset. Inside the Realme 2 Pro is a Snapdragon 660 chipset, a step up from the Snapdragon 450 in the Realme 2. Along with 4 or 8 gigs of RAM, performance is pretty good on this chipset. It's one of the best available for a mid-range phone. You can play games like PUBG at higher settings than on less capable devices. It's rather power efficient too, so although the 3500 mAh battery isn't as large as the Realme 2's, battery life should be good. Number 3. Cameras with AI support The Realme 2 Pro has integrated AI support for both the front and the rear cameras. The front cam is 16 megapixels and f2.0. The camera's beautification options are enhanced through AI. On the back we have a dual camera setup. There's a 16 megapixel main cam with a bright f1.7 aperture and a secondary depth sensor. Here's a couple of shots we took. AI scene recognition can identify scenes automatically and adjust settings for you. You can take portrait shots with different portrait lighting options. And you can record video in 4K at 30fps. It isn't stabilized though. And finally, a heavily customized interface. The interface of the Realme 2 Pro is ColorOS 5.2 over Android 8.1 Oreo. It's pretty far from stock Android. The leftmost screen holds customizable panels for things like weather, albums, and schedules. The photo gallery is enhanced by AI. It recognizes faces for automatic sorting and gives plenty of editing options. Swiping on the side opens up a menu that gives options like screenshot, screen recording, and recommended apps. And there's a game space to organize all of your games. So there you have it guys. The Realme 2 Pro offers quite a lot more than the Realme 2. Specs wise, they're totally different. If this one's priced right, it could be a phone to watch out for. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments as well as any questions you might have, and we'll try to answer them in our full review coming soon. See ya!